Well, it was time for another geology field trip, this time for my petrology class. Petrology being the study of igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. For this trip, we first headed to southern Illinois and then into southeastern Missouri. Hey, wait a minute, isn't that that dog car from Dumb and Dumber? Anyway, our main goal is to improve rock identification skills and use textures and relationships to interpret their environments of formation and relative ages. As you can tell from this travel B-roll, the rain decided to come along for the day. We are at Garden of the Gods in southern Illinois. It's a uh, well, it's a crappy day weather-wise. It's been raining on us. We were out here earlier, got poured on, went back, sat in the van for a while, ate some lunch. It's cleared up a little bit, so we decided to give another go. There's this saying in geology that there's no bad weather, only bad clothing. In other words, you... Uh, you need to be prepared for whatever situations you find yourself in in the outdoors and to a certain extent that's very true sometimes it just really sucks though <laughs> so these are pennsylvanian sandstones they are deposited on like a shallow margin of a sea back in the pennsylvanian about 320 million years ago or so they form this really nice landscape out here. There's also lots and lots of jointed fractures throughout here. They're really quite large. You see that big one down there? The other feature that you can see in these rocks is called Lisi Gang Bands. There's tons of them here. If you come here and you see these, they swoop all the way through. These are iron oxide deposits. They're a secondary formation, secondary structure, form in the rock after lithification. And these are due to basically groundwater flowing through and uh, eventually precipitating iron oxide in the pore spaces between the quartz grains. So that extra iron oxide in the pore spaces uh, makes those layers a little more resistant to weathering and they stand out nicely as these kind of dark brown colored bands in the rock. So, all right, here, a little bit better view. A little bit better view of these sandstones out here. These are the Pennsylvanian sandstones deposited in these ancient seas, kind of epicontinental. Sandstones are uh, brought in by rivers, are deposited in like braided stream to deltaic to marine environments. And they're nicely cross bedded, which you can see in some locations they're deposited on the continent um, where sea level has risen there are still highlands uh, that are not covered uh, for example over in missouri uh, the cincinnati arch in the midwestern area and those highlands are supplying sediment and the rivers are draining those highlands into the epicontinental sea and the secondary features include these joints these massive fracture systems. Whoa. And then the Lisi Gang bands. We were over there earlier looking at the bands in that area. Really spectacular. That again is uh, 
due to the deposition of iron oxide minerals in between the little tiny pore spaces between the quartz grains. So it is a secondary feature in that it is deposited after the rock is lithified. All right, right here. What is this? Cross bedding. <laughs> 